How 2013 Movie The Congress Foresaw the Current Artificial Intelligence Dilemma in Hollywood A 10-year-old movie starring Robin Wright now looks hauntingly prescient in light of the U.S. actor strike, which was partially prompted by the threat AI poses to their careers. With SAG AFTRA, the Writers Guild of America, and the Actors Union having but shut down Hollywood for good, several major players have spoken in. Last week, George Clooney told CNN that our industry is at a turning point. Christopher Nolan told The Hollywood Reporter that the business models don't work right now after the writers' strike. Jeff Green, the studio's director, added, Things are changing swiftly. This entire building, which we all adore so much, will be demolished very soon. The comments from Clooney and Nolan are real. But Green is a made-up character played by Danny Houston in the obscure movie The Congress. It was published in 2013 and, with surprising clarity and detail, foresaw the current dilemma about the employment of artificial intelligence in the industry, one of the most contentious subjects in both strikes. In a scene that reads like a fly-on-the-wall report from Hollywood Today, Robin Wright, a famous actress, is playing a fictional version of herself as Green tries to persuade her to sign away the AI rights to her image. The movie anticipated issues like performers losing control of their emotions, as written and directed by Ari Fulman, well known for Waltz with Bashir, his 2008 animated Oscar candidate. The Congress isn't the only work of fiction on this topic with a keen sense of the future. Lenny Turtletub, the producer of the 2015 Netflix cartoon series BoJack Horseman, informs BoJack that he wants to scan him so that he can deploy his AI counterpart in the event that BoJack proves to be too challenging while playing the lead in the film Secretariat. Turtletub ultimately prefers the scanned performance and utilizes it without telling BoJack. Salma Hayek Pano portrays a version of herself in the Black Mirror episode Joan is Awful which had its Netflix premiere last month. She sells her AI rights and discovers that she no longer has control over her appearance. The Spookiest Moments However, no other work of fiction was as early or as chillingly precise as the Congress. The studio's offer, which unlike real-life proposals so far, contains the requirement that she never perform again, gives the fictitious Robin a good reason to accept it. At 44, she has outgrown the kinds of parts that made her famous and has been criticized for being unpredictable and unpleasant. Green tells Robin, I want Buttercup from The Princess Bride, Jenny from Forrest Gump, younger versions of the actress who would appear like she did when she was doing those well-known roles in her 20s, fusing fantasy with Wright's actual career and alluding to a fear that many actresses have of becoming 40. He'll be able to use AI to adopt and repurpose her younger self. Robin objects, stating, I don't want somebody else deciding the functions of her AI. One of the most contentious issues surrounding the actor's strike is the disagreement over who owns the rights to the player's digital photos. Each side has a different claim. Studio executives, according to Douglas Crabtree Ireland, head of negotiations for SAG AFTRA, want to scan background actors' images and exploit them indefinitely without their permission. The studio's representative organization, AMPTP, stated the scans can only be used for the project in production with permission, according to a spokesperson. The Congress contains yet another striking sequence that speaks to the challenges that AI provides for actors. The usage of Robin's image must be specified in a contract the lawyer for Robin advises her. He is successful in getting a no-porn clause, but he has to concede on science fiction. As a result, much to her eternal dismay, her AI avatar stars in a cheesy action franchise in the future that also features the film Rebel Robot. In the movie Dr. Strangelove, Robin can be seen riding a bomb and yelling with joy. The Congress was largely inspired by Stanislaw Lem's sci-fi novel The Futurological Congress from 1971, although Fullman is totally responsible for the Hollywood AI plot, which makes up roughly the first third of the movie. After Robin is scanned, the movie jumps ahead 20 years and becomes fully animated, 
with Robin entering a boldly drawn world of primary colors. In a spectacular performance, Wright stands inside a glass globe filled with lights and scanners and exhibits emotions ranging from grief to laughter. The narrative starts to resemble Lem's portrayal of a hero attending a conference where he begins to doubt reality due to psychedelic chemicals in the water. The animated Robin is scheduled to speak at the conference in this scene as an illustration of an AI movie star. Fullman makes more projections into Hollywood's future even as the movie changes its attention to the more general question of fantasy versus reality. The animated Green now claims that movies as we know them are about to disappear and be replaced by a substance that will let consumers live their lives as though they were their favorite performers, like Robin. He claims that AI will cause the script writers and animators who are constructing the world that Robin and Green are in to lose their employment reflecting yet another poignant, genuine worry. According to the Congress, it was perfectly conceivable to have anticipated the AI catastrophe. In the US, Peacock, the Roku Channel, Pluto, and Amazon all offer live streaming of the Congress. In the UK, Amazon and ITVX do the same. In the US, Peacock, the Roku Channel, Pluto, and Amazon all offer live streaming of the Congress. In the UK, Amazon and ITVX do the same.